Hello again Aries, Dedici here from astrology.com.au and with the year flying past pretty quickly, November 2016 already, uh, it's nice to know that that really difficult aspect of Venus and Saturn is now passing and that has a lot to do with your relationships and the fact that uh, that same Venus, planet of love, is moving into a, uh, an interesting aspect to Uranus, uh, what we call a triangular aspect, is also uh, good news for you. Uh, that's also supported by the fact that Jupiter is still moving very powerfully through your seventh house of relationships and public relations. So to start the month, however, we see that there is a new moon taking place in your eighth house. So this also has connotations relating to you know intimacy love affairs and more important uh, sexuality so the month commences with these three planets the moon mercury and sun in that eighth house <clears throat> and apart from ruling those areas of intimacy and deeper psychological issues uh, it has to do with shared finances banking taxes insurances and all that sort of fun stuff that we uh, often prefer to sweep under the rug but if you deal with all of that sort of stuff you can really look forward to a much more sociable month this month and that's because on the 9th of November your ruling planet moves into the favorable 11th house the sign of Aquarius which relates to all of your social activities friendships and uh, good sorts of uh, connections and networking and that's going to stay there a while so you should take advantage of the ability to really make a good impression on others especially in the first uh, seven to ten days of the month of November now apart from Jupiter having that really great influence on your marital affairs uh, I probably have mentioned a couple of times but I'll, I'll repeat myself that this seventh house of the horoscope is a very fortuitous area for Jupiter to be traveling through because it also impacts upon your business partnerships which is also tied in with the shared resources I just talked about public relations and any sort of sales marketing public interaction is going to be favored by this sort of combination in your horoscope uh, the challenge you have there really is more from Saturn which continues in the ninth house of your horoscope that can have you questioning your values at the moment and what it is you really want to do in terms of a life path and that may have come to a head I mentioned that Venus Saturn combination could have come to a head because of the relationship circumstance that you're in often we find ourselves at odds with the people we live with the people we love the people we work with so I mentioned that that's passing now but it still indicates some sorts of doubts perhaps about the path you're treading and if that's the case you need to use the power of Mars that ruling planet after the uh, you know around the second week you're going to start to see that pick up it's going to bring you in touch with a whole lot more new people giving you the ability to spread your vision and to maybe rethink some of the uh, sort of ideals that you have so mixing with others is important that gives you brand new feedback new input in which you can reconsider what it is that you want to do against the backdrop of varying opinions later in the month we have the full moon that's taking place in an excellent part of your horoscope the second house which means that the moon is not only going to be full moving to a good directional strength but it's got what we call exaltation strength because uh, Taurus is its best sign that being the case and also the fact that the moon rules your fourth house of property domestic circumstances your mother your inner peace in that area of the zodiac that has to do with your income it's a very very good testimony to the fact that after that date which we uh, see is taking place um, after the 14th so around the 14th you'll see the full moon there that is when 
all of these financial issues come into focus and in a positive way might I add uh, as the second house has to do with that mind you we mentioned the value system and the fact that you may be changing some of your views on life that full moon in that second house is not just about money it's about what you value and what you hold in high esteem uh, so this can be such things as integrity uh, improving your character uh, eliminating bad habits the new moon can shine a light on a lot of these sorts of things especially with neptune in your 12th house currently there in close proximity to what we call k2 or the south node and that has to do with the past life really resolving a lot of stuff in that area and that's why i say some of these bad habits can be jettisoned at this time in favor of a much much uh, higher ideal for yourself so that seems to be a continuing theme uh, for you during this particular cycle now on the 22nd of november there's a lovely movement of the sun which is in the eighth house which is a difficult part of the zodiac uh, moving out of that deep subconscious emotionally entangled sort of area into the sign of Sagittarius now that brings with it the opportunity for travels higher education and really expanding and broadening your horizons to a large extent uh, we haven't mentioned much about Pluto I'm um, rather Venus but Pluto is going to have some effect on uh, this planet we saw it moving out of the sort of aspect of Saturn which inhibits the love life makes you cold aloof questioning the whole issue of intimacy it then moves as I see here on the 25th into a very powerful conjunction of Pluto which intensifies the energy around your love life and your relationships and that's taking place in your professional sector now Venus also rules your finances so there could be an intensification following that full moon uh, for your desire to earn more money to you know achieve more prestige and to put your best foot forward there and prove that you're up to the task of whatever it is you choose to do and that can have some positive professional ramifications for you in the coming weeks and months mercury in favorable aspect to uranus on the 26th great communications you might experience and receive some news that you hadn't expected at that time and uh, that's against the background of two hard aspects on the 30th which is uh, the sun in sagittarius at the right angle to the north node which challenges you culturally in terms of the the peer group that you're in uh, again that's an extension of what i mentioned earlier maybe changing your values moving outside the normal circle of friends that you have and exploring those new horizons with venus also moving to the square of uranus showing that you have to be a little bit careful in your taste and your choice of people especially if you're single and you're looking for a quick fix if you know what i mean uh, don't forget stop off at astrology.com.au and uh, that will keep you going till next month when i hope to see you here again take care now Bye-bye, Aries.